Yes, it's me, Mike. And then here again today, well, boy, let me tell you something. I see Boris Johnson, you know, and Prince Andrew in a spot of bother. <laughs> Boris apparently had a party at number 10. Over 100 people apparently attended it. But Boris apparently was unaware that it was a party. He really thought it was something, a working operation going on. But apparently the, the note went out to people. I don't know if it came from Boris or somebody in his, you know, office or whatever. It was a bring your own booze party. Well, it sounds like a, Brit a typical British party then, ain't it? Now, <laughs> bring your own booze, bring your own food. <laughs> we call that going Dutch, but it seemed like it is going British. Well, well, well. Now, Boris apparently went out into the party, according to him, you know, socialized for about 45 minutes, and then supposedly went back into his office at number 10. The thing I don't understand is how you can have over 100 people in your backyard and not realize that it was a party, huh? You got to, and drinks and things, people got drinks pouring, people having a drink and so on. I mean, how could you not know that that was a party? It seemed like you're stretching, you know, the credibility a little bit there, Boris. But then again, you are known for that. <laughs> so will Teflon Boris be able to survive this latest scandal? Or will Teflon Boris go down in, well, shall we say, over a pint or two? <laughs> and then we turn our attention to the other fella in London who in a spot of bother. And whereas Boris is in trouble with the British... It seems like this fella is in, tr in trouble, Prince Andrew, with the Americans and with this young lady who has accused him of, you know, essentially um, engaging in very intimate relations without her permission. Well, 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 well. No, apparently he was trying to hide behind some agreement that was reached with Jeffrey Epstein, but the U.S. judge is having none of it. He said, no, 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 that, that, we don't know who that really applied to. It can apply to anybody. Come forward and talk. And the talk in London is, though, that, you know, um, you know, Her Majesty will have to cough up about 10 million pounds in order to save our boy Prince Andrew, one time known as Randy Andy. Now, apparently, he's going to have to sell a Swiss chalet somewhere up in the Swiss mountains <laughs> for a tidy sum in order to meet some of these costs. Well, 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 shame and scandal in the family. They say it is the greatest challenge and scandal ever facing the, yeah, the royal firm. I know that over in America, however, Prince Andrew, Prince, Prince Harry and Meghan must be sitting down smiling and having a cup of tea, you know, pinky out and thing. Mm. And at least they ain't bothering, but we know now. They ain't trying to rake up every rake and scrape story, but we know. All of a sudden, boy, let me tell you, the British press got to confront it. I know we've been ducking from it. Why well, here, Piers Morgan Bennett, because you know he got with the guy, and he's just called Motar. You know, he got it in for Meghan and Harry. So what to hear you now, Piers? Why well, here you talking about, you know, Prince Andrew and his troubles and so on and so forth? Seem to me that those are far more scandalous than anything that you and some of the other, you know, apologists might have given in the direction of Harry and Meghan. So on the one hand, Boris, the Prime Minister, is in a spot of bother. And on the other hand, the royal household is in absolute turmoil. Well, 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 signs and wonders. Mark it when they gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? Hear, <laughs> hear.